This could make up the tissue transplant of the future. At least in Gabriel Villar's wild scientific fantasies. <laughs> a lot of scientists don't like wild fantasies in papers, so, so we had to be a little bit cautious in our wording. But um, in principle, these things, they should be able to mimic pretty much any tissue because any cell is essentially a, a little bag of water. And these are little water bags too. This is a network of tiny water droplets coated in oil. The oil makes them stick together and they can be chemically engineered to work in concert, like this. Part of Villar's innovation was making this machine to fabricate the pseudocellular networks. So what you're seeing there is actually two nozzles and each one of those is a really thin glass tube, just about the size of a human hair. We have these glass tubes immersed in oil. You can't tell that the oil is there because it's transparent. And we have a little droplet generator at the other end of each of those tubes. As soon as the droplet leaves the tube, it's coated by the oil the tubes are submerged in. Because of that oil... The droplets actually stick together. They actually kiss and um, become joined by a very, very thin membrane. Uh, it's only five nanometers, so it's actually just a couple of molecules thick. But it's, it's strong enough to prevent the droplets from falling under gravity, so you can really build objects up with 90-degree walls, and actually you can make them slope away. That oil membrane has another function. It's a lipid bilayer, just like a cell wall. And like a cell wall, it lets water pass through. That allows these bubbly blobs to change shape if you adjust the salt concentration in the different droplets. The, the first thing we tried was actually um, planar strip, kind of like a strip of bacon, in which one side, if you like, the, the fat of the bacon was uh, very watery, and then uh, the other side was very salty. And we found that watery droplets give uh, the water to the salty droplets. The watery droplets get smaller, the salty ones get bigger. And the whole thing curls up into a circle. Uh, we've actually shown that you can get them to do mechanical work, you can get them to push little things around. Publishing online in Science this week, Villar and colleagues also showed that the droplets can be engineered to carry electrical signals by passing charged particles from one droplet to another, which would come in handy if you're making synthetic tissues that need to carry nerve signals, for example. Now, if you're thinking, this doesn't look much like an organ. You're right, then. At the moment, they don't look very much like organs or tissues. So organs are yet another level of complexity, but um, you could imagine getting a scratch on your skin and needing some kind of protective layer. Okay, maybe it's the band-aid of the future. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.